Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading and I wanted to give the uh, weekly update for the mid-size grow tent. So let me go ahead and grab the camera and I'll get this uh, unzipped and we'll show you the uh, progress. This week we do have a couple of new uh, seated trays. I'll explain that once I get to the, uh, the inside here. i got my safety goggles here. So let me go ahead and put those on before I finish opening up the tent. So, we took out, so when I give the update for the uh, cell bar LED area this week, we'll have a, you know, I'll show you which trays moved from here inside this tent over to that uh, harvest area. But what we've done is we uh, moved those two trays out of the top shelf here, and now we've got the gourmet lettuce blend up on top here, so they're going to be harvested in another week probably. we still got the mustard greens up here because I have another tray of mustard greens that I haven't finished harvesting off of yet in the cell bar LED area. But we've got our first cut and you can see it has taken off quite a bit so i figure next week we'll probably put this one back over into the salad bar led area and harvest off of it for its second cut because it's progressing pretty nicely and we should get enough off of that to have a, a meal for paula and i the uh, dmr salad mix you notice has moved up from down below on the bottom tray down there they were down there and those are their new seated trays i'll talk about in a second but they've moved up to here this level they would have moved up to this level if these looked a little, you know, better. Um, what I'm noticing with these beta salad mix is I think I have these uh, planted not enough seed in there. So I've been watching some videos from guys like Curtis Stone and uh, a few others, and he talks about his seed density, and he uses quite a few more seeds per uh, square inch than I have been in these trays, and that's why I'm getting this legginess and the uh, you know lack of support for these because they kind of just like tip over as soon as you water them. He said that's one of the indications you know you can use. There's two, is the uh, the legginess. Then they can't stand up on their own when they have uh, you know when you give them their water. And I'm using a a dram nozzle that has like I think a thousand you know micro holes. There are little tiny holes in it. Let me go over here and I'll show you. So I mean I'm using this this head you can see that it's got a lot of tiny little holes in there and um, with this I'm still knocking over the plants so but I'm like when with these uh, DMR salad mix as well as the gourmet blend they don't seem to knock over as much because they're a much denser you know packing in here and I know he does most of his stuff for microgreens but he does you know on occasion say that he grows stuff out to be you know true leaf and a little bigger so you can see what kind of a harvest he'll get and I, I grow mainly for you know the, the bigger harvest, so I don't I don't go for the microgreen stuff as much. But I do want to try doing some microgreens pretty soon inside of here. Besides, you know, I mean, I guess some of the stuff you could call microgreens when I harvest it off, like this the salad mix here, this hot mix. I mean, I harvest it when it's small like this, and uh, and I just let it grow back up. Anyway, we've got the uh, you know down here on the bottom put in the, uh, the Yankee Hardy and some arugula. You can see this one here. Here's the arugula. I just seeded these trays yesterday, so we're not going to see any sprouting growth on these yet. But I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this, uh, this Yankee Hardy lettuce blend because this is supposed to be very similar to the uh, DMR, which is the one that we've got up above up here. And that's a beta salad mix down here. And I've noticed this one here, I seeded a little bit thicker and I'm seeing a lot better growth in that than I did with the ones up here. So you'll notice this is pretty sparse. I mean, you know, I've got a lot of bare spots inside of there. And so when I get the next blend of uh, beta salad mix that I throw in here, I'm gonna really seed it heavy just to see what I can get out of it. See, like here's the DMR. So the DMR and the Yankee salad mix blend, they're supposed to be very similar, except I think the, the when I looked at the pictures, the Yankee Hardy, it does have a lot more coloration in it, like the purples. And this here looks a lot more just like a green. It has a little bit of a purple, you know, tinge to some of the leaves. Even without the, the lights on it, it does have a little bit of a tinge to it. But, uh, I don't know, it's going to be dang good to eat in a salad. <laughs> That's all I care about, is just having this healthy lettuce to go into, uh, go into winter. But that's kind of the update. I uh, haven't had any issues with uh, the lighting. All the lighting that I've got in here seems to be working pretty well. 
There's no burned out uh, LEDs, anything like that on the new lights that we got up on the top there. Those are those new 200 waters that we picked up to put on the top row. And uh, I think if somebody built something like this and they were doing like a medicinal cannabis type setup, I think they would have a lot of sprouted growth. And I mean, I don't know how, I mean, you, you guys that do that kind of stuff, you go grow a little bit longer for each, uh, you know, before you harvest, you grow, you know, maybe, you know, what is it? Eight weeks, 12 weeks, something like that, between, uh, some, you know, doing that kind of stuff. So if you had a set, set up like this, you could really start off some, some nice plants. And uh, there's no, there's no uh, bugs, no mildews, anything like that. I mean, I've got, you know, I got this ventilation fan here. It basically sucks all the hot air from the top of the tent and blows it downward, you know, that down direction. And then I've got a, uh, a 400 CFM fan down there, eight inch, that I put in here. It comes on when it gets hot inside the tent and it blows air and puffs up the tent. It takes air from the cool outside over here and brings it into the tent. And then it fills this tent and then it evacuates out the sides over here. There's a, a vent hole here that I have open. There is another vent hole on that side over there behind the fan next to that light. But I have that one closed off because I don't seem to have a need to have more than one open. And it does maintain a good nice temperature in here. I think right around 74 degrees at the peak, you know, when the fan comes on and it cools it down. And I keep this tent around 72 degrees. Just kind of giving you guys a little bit more information for anybody that wants to uh, maybe try to emulate this setup. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the growth I'm getting right now. This is gonna, with these trays, I should be able to keep us well fed on lettuce greens for, uh, you know, the next couple of months with the rotation that I'm planning on doing with the first cut. You know, like when I do a first cut, and I'll move those trays back into here, and then as well as I'll be seeding new trays and putting them on the bottom rows, and keeping those uh, keeping those sprouting out. So that way, I'm going to have a constant rotation of fresh greens for Paula and I throughout the entire winter, and along with the you know the large tent over here, which I'll do the video update for. And you know, we also have the, the salad bar LED area where it's also going to have greens that are going to keep growing. That's where we harvest from, which is going to make it nice. We have tomatoes and then spinach inside the big tent, so we're going to have plenty of uh, plenty of greens to grow and pick from when we uh, want to get our harvest. All right, well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys in uh, another video. I'm going to do some more updates today. All right, bye guys.